Before this video starts, if you don't want to watch any of this video and you think it's stupid, um, please just go to this part. This is probably the only part that really matters, and if there's anything that will convince you, it's this. So this is going to be a crazy fucking video. After the last video about Redux, I was able to get a lot more information about what really happened, and I'm going to be honest, this is a deep rabbit hole and there's a good chance this video will actually kill TNO. What the TNO team did was completely fucked, and they willingly and knowingly killed a mod when they knew there was no docs. That's right. No one got doxed. So let's start at the beginning. TNO is a mod about if the Nazis won World War II. TNO Redux was a fan sub-mod that would include much wackier and stranger paths. The famous one being Noah Polska and Brzezinskyov, which Brzezinskyov was mostly done by the Russian team. A lot of people really liked this mod, and most of the devs were really nice, and most of them just wanted to add more to a mod that they loved. Then, on January 23rd, out of complete nowhere, Sparky, the lead writer of TNO, announced on the TNO subreddit that Redux posts were permanently banned. The reason? The Redux team doxed one of the moderators of TNO, also because of transphobia on the Redux Discord. Now the post itself was very vague. It didn't say who was doxed or who was the doxer. Only when I asked was any information given, and honestly, if I didn't ask, it would not have been revealed. And when I asked, somehow this was wrong and I got downvoted into oblivion. But because I'm not a loser and reddit points don't matter to me, I was able to get the accused doxer's name, Mr. Smiley. But um, Mr. Smiley isn't a part of the Redux team. He's just a member. Okay, well, they didn't exactly say that he was the doxer, so I gave them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, it was probably just a small mistake. It wasn't. But after this happened, I decided to message the lead dev of Redux, or a uh, former dev, Curving. I asked four questions, which I made a whole video on. Here's the quick rundown, but I, I recommend you watch the video. Firstly, he had no idea about any of the transphobia, mostly because he was a dev, not a moderator of the Discord. However, he believes that the mod team on the Discord was unbanning and adding people to the Discord team without him knowing. Secondly, I asked about the docs. He was able to reveal to me that the random trans moderator that was doxed wasn't a random moderator. It was Pacifica. If you don't know, Pacifica is the current lead dev of TNO. Basically the boss. First off, uh, holy shit, that, you know, that's pretty important. Uh, I don't know why they left that out of the post. But then he told me the two people who was accused of doxing, Galahad and Mr. Smiley. Huh. So the dev of Redux thinks that both of them dox Pacifica. Now that might seem like enough information to you, but here's the catch. Curving didn't know about the doxing before the post, meaning the TNO team directly told him that it was those two people. Crazy, right? Well, it gets even crazier. Galahad and Mr. Smiley didn't dox Pacifica. And also, the original creator of Redux, Bach, was also accused of doxing. So that's three people that dox Pacifica. Looking a little weird, isn't it? This is when the rabbit hole only gets deeper. This is the picture. And I'll read it out for you. BTW, how did they dox Pacifica? Don't know. It's kind of idiotic. No one actually docs Pacifica. Only a couple participants from PLTNO and RUTNO have a picture of it, but they didn't post it. Oh? Can I have the picture? No. That's Mr. Smiley asking the day after the Redux Discord was deleted. Not only did Mr. Smiley Mask have no idea how Pacifica was doxed, he learned in this chat that she wasn't even doxed in the first place. Now, 
You might be wondering, what does the word picture mean in that? Well, the picture refers to a single photo of Pacifica that the Russian TNO community had and was unwilling to give out. So what does that mean? Not only was there no docs, not only did the TNO Redux team never post the docs, and the docs was a single photo of someone. And not only that, but the only people you could realistically accuse of doxing was the Russian TNO community. Redux had nothing, and let me repeat this, had absolutely nothing to do with the picture of Pacifica, and never even had it. This is probably the most retarded thing the TNO team has ever done. Not only did they destroy an innocent community, they willingly lied about being doxxed, which is a lot more serious than a single photo. They even had the audacity to blame Curving, who had nothing to fucking do with any of this. He was literally just some dude who liked making mods. And somehow, by doing absolutely nothing, he was accused of harbaging a toxic community and a transphobic community. And not only that, accused of helping someone be doxxed on the internet. But I haven't been saying the complete truth. I actually have the exact message that Pacifica said to Curving. Yes, Pacifica was the person who not only convinced Curving to delete the Discord, she was the person who gave the only evidence. Here it is. At first glance, this looks really convincing. But if you take even more than just one second to read, actually, you know what, let's just do that together. At the top, Curving asked Pacifica who was the person who doxxed her. At this point, Curving has no idea. She then posts the whole chat log of about nine messages. The first is transphobic, but let me make this clear. The TNO Redux Discord was transphobic, but that isn't the issue I'm talking about. I'm talking about the false doxing. The second post is a video of Pacifica's voice, which by itself is not doxing. I would be doxing myself right now. Plus, this video is from Panzer, meaning this is a TNO video. It, it would be weird if Pacifica's voice wasn't in it. The third is a link that is cut off, so that's lost. But the fourth is a response to a somewhat transphobic question. Bach, this is where he was accused of doxing, by the way responds to how quick you would be banned for saying that. He says seconds. He's not wrong, but I can understand the transphobia there. But doxing? This is the important part of the chat. A guy makes a joke about posting Pacifica's voice again, and then under it says, I want to laugh. At most, that's just making fun of someone. But then, Galahad says this. Somebody posts Pacifica's docs, and the message is cut in half. But if you just remove that image, you get what he really said, not out of context. This is clearly a joke. I don't see anyone actually thinking this is a real threat or an actual dox. Pacifica is either incredibly malicious or incredibly fucking stupid. This is clearly Galahad repeating the guy above, and then changing it to something way more edgy. As a joke, obviously. He wouldn't just, I mean, he just wouldn't ask for the docs out of the blue. I, I mean, that's just, how retarded do you have to be to just literally think that this is serious? Not one message in this entire chat is serious. Look. If you wanted to say it's wrong to joke about doxing, go for it. But you can't just sit there and think, hmm, yeah, this is basically the same as revealing my home address, my full name, my family name, and oh, that's a SWAT team at my house. But that's the whole video, really. I think this is enough information to prove to anyone watching this that there was no dox. And not only that, Pacifica got an entire community deleted and most of its modders to never return to Hoi 4 again over eight let me repeat this. Eight fucking words.